Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how to enable data layer in Shopify all pages without help. This data layer is GA4 data layer schema, and you don't need to buy any paid app. And if I go to uh, store, add app, and you will see some data layer app. As you can see, here is a uh, data layer app, Elevar Tag manage, uh, Management Suite. And if we, if I see the pricing, and as you can see, here is data layer, fifty dollar month data layer, GTM client side tracking, G4 tags, and RT plus pre-built making market intent, and Elevar is server side tracking, two fifty dollar month, and Google server four fifty dollar month. It's used and this uh this video i i will show you how to enable this data layer without buy or any app and this data layer you can easily use for free okay now first we need to check our data layer is enabled or not before setting the data layer and now we need to go to i have already Google Tag Manager connected on my this Shopify store. My being Shopify store, and as you can see, if I enable the Google Tag Manager assistant, and as you can see here is I have already added this Google Tag Manager to six L, and this Tag Manager is to six L. Okay, now I have saved the our store. Now restore data layer have or not. I am typing the connecting the website using Google Tag Manager. If I go to I have all uh, this is my demo store I have created for making tutorials and I have created a one product for ten dollar. If I open the product. And if I go to tag assistant, as, as you can see, here is no data layer is here. Okay, just it's going window loading is like for come from tag manager. And if I add to cart, check out. Mm, if I purchase the product. Continue payment. And this is a temporary payment. Sorry, it's one. But name me. My foot is one. You know. Our payment is successful. Mm, if I go to Tag Manager, and as you can see, here is no data. Here is no data layer is enabled. Okay, there is no data layer is enabled. Now we will see how to set up the data layer. Mm, I am closing the case and closing the Tag Assistant preview. Okay, first uh, we need to open the this doc file and here is all guide and we need to create a one snippet file from the Shopify store. Okay, I'm closing and we need to go to theme, theme edit, edit code and go to snippets, create add new snippets. And snippets name is data layer all pages. Here is snippets name and done. Snippet create are successful. Okay. Now we need to copy this code. Here is a code. We need to copy. Copy. 
here is okay we need to copy this code this code we need to copy and and now again go to the our data layer all pages liquid just paste the code and save it now again go to theme dot liquid uh, here is theme dot liquid layout theme dot liquid and copy this code the this is now okay closing the uh, click that hit double click and as you can see here is closing diet copy this code before closing diet paste the code and save and exit and one step and again we need to copy this code uh, this code as system order order processing is traditional okay we need to copy this code copy and here is uh, important step and as you can see here is uh, we need to replace this google tag manager file okay now go to setting check out and account and down and as you can see here is order restart space and additional script just paste here and after paste here we need to down and as you can see here is script closing the before of gtm id this is replace the your container id okay your google tag manager id again and paste it it's replace and remove the script okay and just now we will check our data layer is set up or not again go to google tag manager go to preview again go to copy the install link paste the install link and connect And if I go to this product test, our data layer is not enabled yet. I'm thinking. Okay, I'm finding the where is the problem. Sorry, I have get some error on my store. This error not showing your store. Don't worry again i have visit a uh, single product test and if i go to tag assistant connected and as you can see here is view item tag is uh, data view item event is fire and if i go to data layer and as you can see here is the view item data layer. our event name is view item view item it's gf4 schema and this is billing keeping info this is billing info okay and and as you can see here is our product is item is product id product name is space uh, our product name is space product price is ten dollar product name is ten dollar usd product uh, price is ten and currency usd okay and as you can see here is description and if i go to add to cart our add to cart tag is fire okay and it's like event is event is set to cut this is geo for schema i go to check out and if i paste the details uh, my billing and shipping address i am using a tag temporary continue 
again continue to payment again my app giving the credit and information to pay now order being processed Mm, our parcel is successful and if I go to our tag assistant mm, mm, if I go to the story note and as you can see our parses event is fired and if I go to data layer mm, if I go to data layer and you can see here is my transaction ID, my all details, parcel details. Here is and below, here is my below 30.58 USD and shipping charge total and currency. My email, my item ID, okay, everything as you can see here is billing info and shipping info. In billing info and shipping info are same for the reason going same and as you can see successfully our data layer is working and you can see there is our our parcels or at view item at to guard parcel data layer is now successfully are working uh, thanks for watching this video if you have benefited from this video then please like and comment and subscribe thanks for watching